it's that. That's definitely no good. So, as we move on over here, you can see that we still have some more problems. I mean, it's definitely, it's been sitting for a while, it's old. So, we are definitely going to do a rewire on this trailer, not try doing a patch job. For $24, you can go online. I think I've seen it at Walmart for even $26. And you can get a trailer rewire kit. It's going to come with your taillights and your little side marker lights. This is like the 23 or 24 foot um, wire. So, see right here, you got your little license plate holder. This license plate holder comes with it. You got some extra wires. That's where this light's gonna go because it has a clear lens to shine down on a license plate. Got your yellow and brown. Yellow and brown, so you know that this is gonna go on this side of the trailer and your green and brown is gonna go on the other side. Everything's color coded. So, really don't have to make it too difficult on yourself or anything. And Taylor and I, we are going to fix a couple of things like we're gonna make sure there's wire loom that comes from here, you know, out of this corner so we don't have to worry about all the breaks and, you know, how the wire is shaping because that's what happened to this and we don't want it to happen to us in the future, and especially when we're taking our road trips. So we're gonna go ahead and definitely get started on that and um, have a good time doing it. She's gonna do most of the work, she just doesn't know it yet and it's a simple job. I hope it's gonna be simple. Hopefully we didn't jinx ourselves. But we'll get it going. All right. So before we get crazy, cut all these wires because this is just junk. Take all that down because, you know, we're considering it junk, right? We're not going to just strip it all away. What we're going to do is we're going to cut right there. And I'm going to tape so we don't cut our new harness. And we're going to tape the new harness to the old harness so we're able to just pull it through and feed it through and we'll be able to do that from here running all the way down through the frame and it makes it a lot easier so we're gonna go ahead and get started on that and get started on this project and keep rolling with it go ahead ah. it's okay That's why we got the old wires still here, so we don't have to worry about the new ones. It go ahead. Won't go. Won't go. Yes, it will. Just pull the trigger. Got most of the loose rust knocked off, and we're gonna. Give me just a second. We're gonna go ahead and coat it. So it's, it's like a spray over rust. And it'll stop the boat from rusting anymore. And it's kind of like pour 15 paint over rust. So it's just a little bit of a less expensive option. We're not trying to break the bank with this project. We're just trying to have a fun project, make it look great and um, reliable. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to keep on moving forward. We're getting ready to start laying down some paint and um, feed wire after that. Here, Taylor. Uh -uh. I hope I'm doing this right. You're fine. Just scoot back and just. All right. Hmm. All right. After a quick little coat, and then this is just um, it's like a primer. Like I said, this is meant for knocking off loose rust, painting over it. It's gonna stop the rust from continuing on and now we're able to add the paint to it which we're just going to do a black semi-gloss we're going to take these off and um after that put some tape right there and just so it make it safe when we're feeding the wire through and around this circle right here just so we don't shape anything up and we'll be good to go still have the old harness connected and we just simply taped the new harness to it so once we go back to the side that we prepped 
we're gonna feed all the wire through. Taylor's gonna help me out. And that will be the first spot to where we separate the wire. And like I showed you earlier, the yellow and brown's gonna go over to the right. And then I think it's green and brown. That will be on this side. That will run through here. And we're gonna get to that part. You ready? Mm -hmm. And here is where we just had it all taped to. I'm going to keep on slowly feeding it on through, but that'll be the first part. Here's all of our new wire coming out. I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down. So making sure we're being careful and not ruin our, ruining our new wire kit. I love my car. Can't wait to get that back on the racetrack and going. Sorry, get distracted. Alright, there's the old wire. And like I said, this is where the new wire was taped to. So, we got the new wire. And we're going to do the same thing on this side for this wire. And right here. So I'm just going to tape those up, run it on through, and check out our length before we make any cuts because we only have to make a cut in this brown wire right here to connect it to the side marker. And it doesn't matter if we're going to use this one or put the brand new one on it, that's just what has to happen. And the reason why you still see rust right here is because that's another project and we just want to prep the area that wire was running through. So we're gonna get going and get everything taped up, get it ready for routing. All right, well, I went ahead and I popped this plug out. The wire comes out through here, but I'm gonna just make it so it's easier to pull through. Taylor's gonna start helping me now push it through. This one's a bit of a longer path. You just gotta take your time. Go nice and slow. I didn't want to make any cuts yet because I just want to see how far we, you know, what's the length and how much wire we actually have to play with before I just start making any kind of cuts. Boom. There's the new wire. All right. We're on the left side now. Yellow and brown. That's where the license plate goes. And there's the new wire. Like I said, we're going to go ahead and we're going to wire up the tail lights first. Then we're going to go ahead and feed back through the proper way. Put some wire loom around it, solder everything, heat shrink it, and then that's where we're going to move up to the side markers, do that so we can get as much length in front as we can. Alright, so it's kind of getting a little dark, but we got this soldered up in a shrink tube. I'm going to go ahead and put the wire loom, tape it up, and then make sure it goes around through here and repeat process to the next side. Well, I must admit, this is definitely taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to, but I'm not using wire nuts or, and it doesn't matter. You know, if someone else wants to use wire nuts, I've seen it on plenty of trailers. I just didn't want to. I just want to do things my way. And um, here's this side, all finished up. So, we still have everything to do over here, and still the markers, but we're getting there, and it's almost finished up. Alright, so, got that fed through. We have this one fed through, and we're going to go ahead and get the light mounts scuffed up and cleaned up. 
Taylor, she um she was not feeling too well. She's gonna go ahead and go inside, get something to eat, and I'm gonna just kind of do a little bit more painting and get it all prepped up. Maybe do a little bit of soldering, but we're pretty much we're pretty much getting there. Here's your. We're gonna have all this wire loomed. Right now it's in rough draft mode. Don't get scared. And um, we're gonna figure out if we're gonna just use these lights or not. If not, I'm gonna have to drill two mounting holes right here. At the end of the day, as long as this light turns on, it's fine. We got the uh, we got the rears changed out and wire ran. That's the most important. So get this old wire on out of the way. And All right. Well, day two. Tail lights are all finished up. So like I said, it's day two, and um, I went ahead and got that loomed up and finished, and moved on. I decided to go ahead and keep these markers, and here's the brown wire. That's the green and brown, and you just connect it to the one wire right here. It already grounds itself out, and we're going to clean this up do the same thing with this disconnect that shrink wrap it um, wrap it up with some tape wire loom and finish up at the front you see it we got her plugged up got the hazard lights on well, I went ahead and checked everything made sure the blinkers yada yada all that stuff was working and what I did was so I went ahead and I did this side right here and I didn't do that side because I just want to make sure everything was good so I'm gonna go ahead and get the boat back into the um, back into the garage finish that cleanup and we got a wired up boat it's pretty simple like I said everything was color coordinated so you know your uh, yellow and brown went over on that side and just ran it all the way through and the only thing that you have to do is that the marker light you just have to take your brown clip it and connect it to the marker light that's it and like I said, I'm gonna clean all this up. And uh, that's that's the story she wrote. As you can see, everything's all nice and clean. And information on the trailer harness, it was the 25 foot trailer harness. It's a 17 foot boat. So it kind of gives you an idea. I didn't cut, shorten anything up where we got everything reached at back here and let me crawl underneath real quick I got all that nice and clean so we're definitely good to go like I said it was a 25 foot wire and that's what worked perfect for this trailer 17 foot boat Thanks for watching. Um, I'm excited. Trailer's finally legal to get on the road. I got my boat registered. So we're going to finish up a couple other things and get her on the water and see what other maintenance or, you know, what we got to do to the engine. Hopefully nothing. So, and be able to start fishing. Thank you for watching. And uh, for my treasure hunters, keep the coil to the soil. And my fishermen, tight lines.